All right, what up, though? So I'm finally at a place right now where I can actually respond to the J. Cole song, Port Antonio. Now, I get it. I heard it just like everybody else, but it took me a minute. I didn't want to just rush off the cuff. But the line that everyone is talking about, it sticks out to them and it sticks out to me. Is the one where he's talking about, I would not have lost a battle. I would have lost a brother. It annoys me when you say that, J. Cole. I'm not going to front. The song is pretty good. It does open up with him being reflective about something that none of us really know what he's talking about until he gets to Drake and Kendrick. But my problem with that and the whole, like, Drake, I love you, you did a lot for me, dog. It plays into Drake's narrative of him playing like he's a victim as if he's getting picked on. And look, I don't try to pretend like I know what's going on in anybody's personal life. But as far as in the music stuff, let's get to it. Drake has always been that person who was asked for that smoke and went beneath the belt. All right. He went way below the belt by trying to be sneaky and mentioning Kendrick Lamar's wife from the jump. And Kendrick Lamar caught that. Hence why the battle went the way it went. OK, but it's done now. And my thing about Cole is that you didn't have no problem being a serial feature killer for about three years straight. Eating everybody up, stealing people on their own song. But when your peers, your actual big three actually showed up, you didn't want no parts of it. And that's OK. We forgave you. We had our little jokes on the side, but we all understood. You made the best decision, but you can't come outside when everybody finished throwing blows with your bat swinging in midair, talking about some, yeah, I would have kicked everybody's ass. It doesn't work like that, Cole. Not at all. You played your position. I stay there.